Isn't it amazing? The Yom Kippur War happened on Yom Kippur, and this happened on Simchat Torah. What is that supposed to tell us? When we were attacked on Yom Kippur, who was attacked? A nation that observes Yom Kippur. That's who we are. Now we're attacked on Simchat Torah. Who is being attacked? A people who rejoice with the Torah, who dance and are happy to be Jews and to be God's people and to be the people of the Torah and to be the Orla Goyen, because that's who we are. There are wild animals that can hurt you, but that, that changes anything. No, the opposite. Now we are sure that we are right. Now we know for sure who we are. Our grandfathers and grandmothers came into a land called Canaan. It was an unholy place, and we turned it into Eretz HaKodesh. We made it holy, because we are the same people. They built mikvaot, we build mikvaot. They built Bate Medresh and Bate Knesiot, and we build. They fasted on Yom Kippur, we fast on Yom Kippur. They danced on Simchat Torah, we dance on Simchat Torah. We're the same people. As holy as they were then, that's how holy we are today. The most important thing right now is not to let what happened change our mind about who we are, about where we belong, about what is right and what is wrong. It's time that we let the world know we are the representatives of Hashem, of God, in the world to show the world how God wants people to behave. We don't need the UN and we don't need other philosophers or other politicians to tell us what's right and what's wrong, what's holy and what's unholy, what is your share and what is not your share. We don't need anyone to tell us. We need them to listen to us. And if they didn't know it until this week, now they know it. I think it's time we stop trying to impress people with the fact that we are democratic. Stop it. Nobody's interested. Let's start telling the world who Jews are. Let them be the students. We should be the teachers. Don't you see how desperate they are? They want to hear from us what it says in our book, in our Talmud, and in our Mishnah, and in our Shulchan Aruch. They want to know how come we are still normal. How come we are not even capable of such behavior? What is the education that makes us who we are? That's what they're wondering about. That's what they're jealous about. So what do we need to do now? First, we need to do something to give power and strength from heaven to the soldiers, and that is by putting on tefillin and by checking the mezuzot so that the enemy is afraid. And that's what's missing. They're not afraid, and they should be. That's what's going to help the success and the miracle that is going to happen like it happened after Yom Kippur War. It's going to be a bigger success and a bigger miracle because it's a bigger disaster. What is going to be is so positive and so amazing that we can't even begin to imagine. As dark as it feels now, it will be 10 times, 100 times lighter when the miracle finally happens and the truth comes out. So expect a good year with blessings, with success, with Hatzlacha, with all the good news, people getting married, people having children, children being healthy, children being good. What life is all about. That's what we're going to have. That's who we are. 